The A-Scope Duodeno is a single-use device, designed specifically for use with the A-Box Duodeno. Each scope is individually packaged and sterile. Check the package before opening for signs of damage. Do not use any endoscopes with damaged or compromised packaging. The pouch should be sealed and intact. Place the unopened A-Scope Duodeno packaging on sterile surgical chucks or a similar clean surface before opening. Carefully peel away the pouch packaging. Remove the protective elements from the handle and the distal end of the scope. The A-Scope Duodeno is equipped with a 4.2 millimeter working channel that allows standard length endotherapy instruments of appropriate diameter to be passed. Connect the A-Scope Duodeno to the A-Box Duodeno by securing the strain relief portion of the scope on the support bracket, located in the center of the front panel. This is a physical connection only. Run the distal camera lens rinsing line through the roller pump. Take the loop of tubing and place the top portion over the roller and through the notches on each side. The bottom portion of the tubing should circle back to the bottom half of the connector. Keep slight tension on the tubing by gently pulling it to the left. Slowly close the roller pump housing. Make certain that the tubing is nestled within the notches on each side of the housing before closing completely. The A-Box Duodeno and A-Scope Duodeno require one 1,000 milliliter bottle of sterile water for complete system operation. This water is for rinsing the distal camera lens of the endoscope, as well as to maintain normal operating temperature of the illuminating LED lights. The water must be changed prior to the beginning of each case. Place a 1,000 milliliter bottle of sterile water into the bottle holder on the left side of the A-Box Duodeno. Remove the seal and cap. Drop the water feeding tube directly into the bottle. The water feeding tube comes pre-connected to the endoscope. Ensure that the tubing end reaches to the bottom of the container. This ensures that the maximum volume of water can be extracted from the container during use. Run tubing from the endoscopic insufflator and connect to the A-Scope Duodeno via the lure lock connection provided. Use your existing suction system and tubing to connect suction to the endoscope by inserting the tube over the suction barb just behind the insufflator connection. This completes all mechanical connections. Plug the A-Scope Duodeno's USB connector into the A-Box Duodeno. The system will now display the message, Preparation for Examination. A few moments later, the system will display a graphic with a reminder regarding scope connections. Confirm that the A-Box Duodeno is ready for use by pressing the OK button on the front panel. The system is now ready for use. The LED lights can be activated by pressing the light activation button, located directly to the right of the USB connection on the front of the A-Box Duodeno. Ensure that neither patient nor staff are in the path of the LED lights. It is strongly recommended to turn the LEDs on just prior to inserting the scope into the patient. The external monitor now displays a live image from the camera and symbols of active functions you may perform along the top right edge of the display. Roller pump status and alerts for any messages are provided in the Info tab, as well as the brightness level assigned to the LED lights. The A-Scope Duodeno is equipped with three remote switches, which can be programmed for various functions through the interface. The A-Box Duodeno will capture one image for each press of the switch. It's possible to first freeze the image to ensure it is the correct image for archiving by first pressing switch 1. The live image will continue via a picture-in-picture -picture window. Depressing switch 1 briefly a second time will unfreeze the image. The A-Box Duodeno allows you to set a variety of preferences to personalize procedures with the system. To make these changes, navigate to the Settings menu. Press any of the navigation keys located on the right side of the A-Box Duodeno front panel. Changes can be made without a scope connected. However, it is strongly recommended to only make image adjustments with an A-Scope Duodeno properly connected. It is recommended that preferences be finalized before starting a procedure. However, access to settings is active at all times while in exam mode, so that adjustments can be made as required.
Press the OK button on the front panel of the A-Box Duodeno after making a change. This will save the new settings. The following parameters can be set from the Image submenu. Sharpness, Contrast, Brightness, Zoom, Corner Radius. Adjustments to sharpness and contrast will be effective immediately and should be verified while the camera image is visible. Pressing the right arrow will increase the selected property. Conversely, pressing the left arrow will decrease that property. Press OK to save your settings. When adjusting brightness, it's recommended to start with the default value at the midpoint of the range. Choosing a lower value results in an overall darker image, whereas choosing a higher value will result in an overall brighter image. Automatic light control is maintained by the A-Box Duodeno. Press OK to save the currently selected setting and exit the menu. The A-Box Duodeno has the ability to cycle on and off a preset degree of magnification by programming one of the remote switches accordingly. When adjusting the zoom function, it's important to remember that the corresponding button on the A-Scope Duodeno operates as the on-off switch for this feature. Pressing the assigned remote switch on the A-Scope Duodeno once will activate the zoom feature, and the displayed image will be magnified according to the value selected in settings, while a smaller, true-size image is displayed in the upper right corner. Pressing the assigned remote switch on the A-Scope Duodeno a second time will turn off the zoom feature. To adjust the level of magnification that the zoom feature will provide, adjust the slider from the left toward the right in order to increase the one-to-one -to, -one to maximum magnification. There are three levels of magnification up to two times. Select OK to save your settings. To adjust the image display shape, select the corner radius menu. This setting modifies the shape of the image from square all the way to a rounded set of corners. Select OK to save your settings with the image shape you prefer. The Remote Switches submenu is where functions can be assigned to the three physical A-Scope Duodeno remote switches. Navigate to the Remote Switches submenu. The available functions for each remote switch will be displayed as you press left arrow or right arrow navigation keys while in the submenu. There are nine choices available for each switch. Set the desired function for each. Select OK to save your settings. To exit the Information and Settings menu, use the left arrow button. Press once to exit the setting and twice to close the menu and save. The Info menu saves every message that appears during the procedure. Press the OK button to confirm any messages and the left arrow button to close the menu.